Welcome back to Organizing My Jewelry. It's still a mess. We have lots of work to do. Let's go. All right, now I found the missing rose gold. This is rose gold, guys. You know that, because a lot of times you buy stuff and it comes in rose gold or gold or silver. So these are beautiful rings, beautiful bracelets. Boom, all these rings, so cute. Okay, so this needs its own bin with all this stuff that I found in the brown section. Now, we did the AB gold, right? We all know what this is. What are these doing in the gold Aurora Borealis bin? They're like wicker, bamboo, summer, rattan. These go back in the brown bin. All right, now, we have plain old gold. Just plain old gold, right? Costume jewelry. Fun, inexpensive, right. So this big gold bangle, I wore this a lot on the show. How many times did I wear this on Dance Moms? Figure it out, maybe you win something. When you don't buy real gold in costume jewelry, it just tarnishes, which that's okay. I got my wear out of it. So all the gold, all the gold, all the gold, all the gold is going in here. And this becomes the rose gold bin. This necklace, is that? Abby Lee Miller or what? Look at that. The show had just started. All the moms together, all of us, before there was chaos, we used to go out to eat after the show. And this was from Nordstrom. And I saw it in the case. I was like, that's me. They didn't have earrings, they didn't have a bracelet, they didn't have a ring, but they had this necklace. One of the moms, I think it was Jill, said, Abby, you have to get that. That's you, you have to get that. So what did I do? I went to the sales clerk and I asked her to check the other stores. How many did they have? Because if this was something that they had at every Nordstrom in the world, well, I didn't need to buy it right now, I could wait, it was the only one. It had been a sample or something. I had to buy it and I've worn it and it's such a statement piece, isn't it? And there's five stars. I think I got five stars out of it. Gray, charcoal gray. Again, I know I wore this on the show. And it goes with a navy blue outfit. There's navy in it. Boom, another gray rubber bracelet. All right, so I have a lot of this. Now, I was into this jewelry for a while. It's so pretty and elegant. Isn't that beautiful? I know I wore this on the show many times. Now, I shouldn't say many times because I tried to change it up every single episode. I tried to wear something different, tried to look different in season eight. I even had different hair in every episode. Gray can be tricky. There's gray with a little green in it. There's gray with a little blue in it. There's gray with a lot of black in it. Or there's just gray. There's military gray, which has the blue. There's sky gray, clouds, silver gray which is light and pretty, just a touch of gray. So when you're coordinating an outfit, just telling you, gray is tricky. Gray stones, black, I guess that is gray. Gray, gray, here we go with the bracelets. Gray stone, gray metal, oh my gosh, I love this. You will definitely see this on camera. Gray and rose gold. I have another gray and rose gold. Gray stones, gray stones. Great, gunmetal gray. That's what this is called, gunmetal gray. Lots of colors, kids. All right, now, gray and gold. I never really got into the gray and gold. I don't think I ever wore this. Because I just do gray with silver. I don't do gray with gold, and it's kind of strange to me. What do you think? Comment below. Would you do gray and gold, or just gray and silver? Floor de lean, that's for New Orleans. Pink and fuchsia in the gray bin. Somebody's getting fired. Earrings, 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 earrings. So gray is a big deal. And I did wear some gray on the show. And you can also do the gray with the black. And do I put this in there? I'm just afraid it's gonna be missing stones. What do you think? I'm gonna find some tissue paper or something and wrap that up, because that's important to me. That's a good memory from Dance Moms. Some of the memories weren't too great, but the majority of my memories were wonderful. 
How many times did the ALDC win? Every time those kids were up on that stage with the trophy in their hands, excited, happy, because we won. And whoever the announcer MC was asked them, and what studio are you from? And they screamed, the Abby Lee Dance Company. Abby Lee Dance Company. That was my victory. That was my success story. And I loved every one of those wins. And even the losses, you know, you have to learn from them and move on. I feel like I'm doing a commercial for Vaseline. Now, if you have done pageants, you might know this trick. So I'm gonna take Vaseline and I'm gonna spread it on my teeth inside my mouth. So you put the Vaseline between your lip, the inside of your mouth and your teeth so that your mouth doesn't get stuck on your teeth if you're dehydrated. A lot of the medicine I take makes me dehydrated, so I'm good to go. If you have to stand on stage and smile for a long time, the judges, your mouth gets dried out because it's usually open and air is getting in it and you breathe through your mouth. So you have to breathe through your nose and put Vaseline on your teeth. There we go. All right, what's next? Teal, teal, peacock, aqua blue, turquoise, all of those colors. Somebody wrote teal. Teal's pretty dark. This is more teal. That's kind of cool. Look, it snakes up your arm. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. It's like a plastic band, but that's pretty. Now this is seafoam green, and we have new merch. ALDC, the spring line is Lavender, powder blue, and seafoam green. And this will go perfect with it. We're getting into our regular old turquoise. I would call this turquoise. And I would call this peacock or ocean blue. Oh, beautiful. You know, roses, they fade, they dry out, they die. Jewelry never goes out of style. If you're thinking about sending me a gift, just say. No, I'm teasing. I have enough jewelry. I have enough jewelry? <gasps> oh, aqua blue. Love this. Wore this on the show. So cute. I love that. I have a couple of these. Different colors. Because, you know, you find something, you like it, you just buy it. My mother was not really the shopper. When she was younger, she was. But with me, she would always say, wait, don't buy it. You might see something you like better. Then I would go back to get it and it was gone. So as I grew up, I created Shopping 101. Now Shopping 101, you buy it, it goes on sale, you take it back. You return it, you buy it again at the sale price. Don't let those sales clerks tell you that they can't do this and they can't do that. Why, why, why? Just tell them, override it. That's the word, just override it. If something's on the wrong rack with the sales sign, take a picture with your phone of it on the rack. So when you take it over and they go, well, somebody put it on the wrong rack. Yes, but it's their job to take it off the rack and put it where it belongs. So get the sale price. All right. This is really bright turquoise, and it matches this on one hand and this on the other. Perfect. And I actually just had dinner with a woman in London who designs this jewelry. And she said, I saw you on the TV show wearing one of her pieces. A dance mom in London. Her daughter dances for me, Elena. And she designed this piece of jewelry and other ones like it that I wore on the show. All right, we're gonna put all this back because this is right on the money. So whoever found all the turquoise jewelry and put it in this bin, or teal, or aqua, or sea foam, they didn't, whoops. So I just dropped this gray rubber watch that was laying here and the back popped right off. Broken jewelry. Now I have another story. Okay, so in Pittsburgh, there's a store called Gabe's, short for Gabriel Brothers. Gabriel Brothers 
used to, they sell all this like cheap stuff. It's not secondhand, it's not used, it's new, but they like get it from, I don't know, fell off the back of a truck, something. They have a broken jewelry counter. They actually have a counter with a sign that says broken jewelry. I keep talking about the jewelry not being in the right bins. Guess who organized the jewelry last? The dance moms. Jewelry for sale, just a I'm little peso. <laughs> it was their job to go back into the storage area and I had these bins and I had a lot more and they were even bigger and they were on this big industrial shelf and boom, 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 boom. I sent them back there to organize everything. Was it organized? No. Tangled, tangled, who does that? Untangle them. Where's the tissue paper between everything? Maybe a list typed on the outside telling me what's in there. I think the mothers failed. <laughs> Losers. See, when I come home at night or after we're shooting, I take all my jewelry off and I kind of just throw it down. I thought they could help me out with my jewelry. What did they do? Made fun of me. Made a joke out of it. And didn't do a very good job. Yeah, that's a dance mom for you.